Hey everyone and welcome to this edition of the free WordPress training. So now in this tutorial, I'll be showing you everything you need to know on the WordPress dashboard. So I'll be showing you everything you need to know on the WordPress dashboard. All right, so now, now this is your WordPress dashboard. When you, you go through the tutorials, installing of WordPress and so on. So when you install a new WordPress, this is how your dashboard will look like. Though it might not look exactly like this, but it will look similar to this, just like this. So on the WordPress dashboard, we have we have a lot, a lot. All right, so now the first thing we have here is updates. This update is showing you the themes or the plugins that needs to be updated on your website. So when you click on this update now, you actually see some outdated files that WordPress is telling you to update. You can see they are outdated already, so you can just select all and update them. So as a, a WordPress developer, make sure all your files are updated. Make sure they are all updated. So that is that about the update. So the next thing here is post. For some of us that see blog post, okay, type of blog post we, we have, I think we have, let me just say news. Okay, I think, I think this, no, no. Let me just look for news web. All right, so I want to show us an example of a blog post. All right, so this is a blog post. You can see six best free website builders to check out. You can see this is a blog post, a post about something. It can be about news or anything you can think of. That's a blog post. So for you to make a blog post on web, on WordPress, this is where you, you, you get it done. So when you click on this, you can see these are posts already made posts on this website. You can see them already made posts on this website. So you can just click on add new and add a new post, but we'll not be doing that now. So under this post, you see, we have the all posts, we have add new, you can set categories, you can set the tags, depending on what you want to do. So, but then the post is majorly for, the post is majorly for, for blog websites. So now this is the media and in the media, you upload your images, your videos and so many others. All right, you can see images, so you can you can just click on add new. You can see you, you can select files from your phone or your laptop to upload it on this website. So that is that about. So you can just select anything and upload. So that is that about the media. And then we have the pages. So the pages on your website, you can see add new. So you can create a new page from scratch or you add a new template of the page. That's just about page. Then the comments are the comments of the post you make. So any comments under the post you make will, will be here under this comment you are seeing here. So now the next thing here is appearance. Appearance, appearance as the name implies appearance, something that is visible. So and under the appearance, that is where we have the themes the themes that is the template files that is the template how your website is going to look like how your website is going to look like the structure the layout and have everything about your website it will be under this all right so now it will be under this appearance your themes okay so now let's click on the theme all right, you can see all the themes they will be under this theme. And if you want to add a new theme, you click on add new. So it will take you to where we have a lot of free and premium templates that you can install. You can see. So you can just select 
any of them and install it depending on the type of website you want to build so that is that about the the themes under the appearance so now we also have the customize under the appearance so you can click and customize the theme you've installed so then the the next thing here is the plugin what's plugin plugin gives the functions to your website functionalities to your website so we have a lot of plugins that you can install on your website and an example example of a, of, of a plugin is the whatsapp plugin all right for example i want to i want to put a whatsapp icon on my website in the sense that people can just click on the whatsapp icon and get to me on my whatsapp so i'll just search for whatsapp whatsapp all right so it will show you a lot of whatsapp plugin these are whatsapp plugin that you can install and so you can just select any one of them install and do the necessary settings for it and that will be all all right so now so now the next thing the, the next thing is okay for example i want to i built an e-commerce website and i want to integrate a payment system where users can pay money maybe i want to use paystack i want to use flutter waves etc i want to use um I want to use Payoneer, just anything you want to use. So let me say I want to use Paystack. You just type pay, Paystack. So you can see Paystack, Paystack plugins are here. And once you install and activate them, then set them up, you'll be able to receive your payments. So that's just all about your plugins. All right, so now the next thing here is the user. So it, it will show your profile either your admin profile or you want to create a new user for example i want to create a user that will just manage my blog post for me and will not be able to access my admin panel so you can just click on add new add new so you you impute the username the email the first name etc so when you come to this row you can select any row so on wordpress we have the administrator row editor row the author row the contributor row, and the subscriber row so in default in default the subscriber role is the default role of wordpress all right so now the next thing to to do is the tools these are tools you can use on your website for example you want to export your web files you want to import you want to erase and so many other things so that is that about it too so we have the settings here so and under these settings we have the general settings general settings so let me click on the general settings so now you can set the title of your website the tagline you can see your url or anything you just want to do so this is just the general settings but then as a beginner in wordpress immediately you install your wordpress and you are in your dashboard maybe probably you installed a theme or some plugins and you want to begin this is what you are advised to do just head on to these parma links here you can see your parma links here just select the parma links and make sure you your parma links is on post name and the reason is because it is straightforward you can see some of them are, are having numbers some some having uh, symbols and others so it's it's not seo friendly and it might also affect your website navigating from one page to the other but you can see that this post name is straightforward so just select the post name and save your settings all right so that is that about so now let's come to this place that says reading you click on reading and here for some of you you might install your wordpress maybe install a theme and it's not showing the page you want maybe the home page it will be showing a blog page or something like that so now let's let's even visit this website and see so let me open this website in a new tab and let's see how it looks like all right you see see how it looks scattered and so on you can see so it's just showing blogs blog posts it's just showing blog posts and the reason is because 
is under latest post here so the home page displays under latest post so what you need to do is click on static post you see static post then here you select the page you want to be your home page the page you want to display on the front page you select it here and the post page that is your blog page you select it and then click on set or on save save changes and that is all so i think that is just the comprehensive overview here of wordpress but then let's head on to chat gpt so and i'm going to type overview of okay so i'm going to type the overview of wordpress so it is going to show us the overview of the wordpress dashboard so you can just come to this place and check everything you can see this all i've explained the post the media the pages the comments okay appearance the themes widget menus and the plugins user to settings etc so now this is just to show you that you can come and make a little research here to update yourself so that is all about the wordpress dashboard that is all about the wordpress dashboard so then that you know everything about the wordpress dashboard now we want to create a website so in the next tutorial we'll continue on creating a website which will probably be an e-commerce website or a blog website